All right, we're good, we're good. <laughs> okay, so first I want to thank Pastor Gould, Mr. School, and Mr. Sales for this opportunity to just to speak to y'all young folks, my little people to my heart. <laughs> And I find it a great honor just to speak it for y'all, so I'm just going to go ahead and start praying and get right into it. <clears throat> Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this wonderful day, just for me to be up here and minister to my little brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you, Lord, that they don't see me, but they see your light and your glory and your anointing flowing through me, Lord. Everything that I will speak will come from my spirit, which is truth and life, Lord. And I give you all the praise and honor and glory, Lord, for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so the title that I'll be teaching and measuring to y'all today is, is your foundation stable? So when you think about foundation, some things come to mind like a building foundation or your house foundation, or sometimes you think about the fundamentals of things. When you play basketball, dance, singing or different things like that, you know you have to learn the fundamentals of things. You have to learn the basics, the foundation, so you can build on to the next step. But today, I want to talk to you about your spiritual foundation. Is your spiritual foundation stable enough for you to live and carry on the purpose that God has for you for the rest of your life until he comes back? When you listen to different people with their attitudes, their words, their actions, and their perspective, it shows you their foundation, what they put in their foundation. From Proverbs 23, 27, it says, whatever a man thinketh, that is so is he. The enemy will use tricks and pressure to break down your spiritual foundation so everything in your life will get out of line. So what I mean by that is that we are a spirit who has a soul that lives in a body. So when you think about your foundation, you have your spiritual foundation, then you have your soul, then you have your body. Your spiritual foundation must be strong enough to leave your soul in your body. That's how God wanted it to be designed. So if your spiritual foundation is not strong, your soul and your body foundation will be out of whack. I'm sorry, I'm getting my notes together. <laughs> the enemy wants your spiritual foundation cracked so your soul and body foundation can be out of whack. So when you think about that, when your soul and body foundation are out of whack, when you think about other people in the world, when you see people battling through lust, depression, fear, stress, we can go on and on about the list of stuff that people battle with and what that category fall under, soul and your body. So it shows you that wherever you put in your foundation, if it's not sturdy enough for you to stand on it and live by it, then you probably need to take it out and put the word of God in that foundation. And the enemy's job is to steal, kill, and destroy you. That's in John 10, to everybody know that scripture. <laughs> His job is to steal, kill, and destroy you. And what God gave me was the enemy wants to destroy your foundation, to steal your body, to kill your soul. That's his job. He wants to destroy your spiritual foundation so he can steal your body, so he can kill your soul. So you have to ask yourself, if my soul and body foundation is out of whack, where's my spiritual foundation? What did I put in my spiritual foundation that was not supposed to be there? Sometimes the Holy Spirit will tell us to be like, you need to take that out of your foundation. You rough in this area, you cracked in this area. But sometimes we'll be like, well, I feel like I can live on that. And God telling you, you can't live on that. You have to take that out and use one of my principles so you can live out the rest of your life. So you're probably looking at me now and say, okay, you're talking about, okay, I'm crap, <laughs> I need something to do. So how do you build your foundation? And when I was studying the word and thinking about it, it was like, okay, God, what do we need to build this stable foundation? And that's just his word. Something that Mr. Haley always tell me <laughs> in his class was that the, Holy, the Bible is your spiritual handbook before you leave the earth. That's your handbook for life. Any questions or any concerns, anything, you go straight to the word. You can't use worldly principles to use to seek spiritual clarity or answers. You only have to use the word so you can see spiritual answers and clarity. One thing that stood out to me was a man, he was a manager over a Chick-fil-A store out here in University in Charlotte. And he said before he put the concrete down, he got Bibles and he put it all over the foundation. Because he said, I want my business to be the foundation, the word of God to be the foundation of my business. So if he want to do that for his business, what should that be in our lives? Of the foundation, the word of God should be our foundation, the principles should be our foundation. 
So your parents, so they are Bible class teachers, Pastor Boo, Mrs. School, the ministers, they give us the word all the time. They don't want us just to know it, but they want us to use it. Followers of Christ, just you will just know the word. Disciples of Christ use the word and put that in their foundation and use it for their everyday lives. And one thing about when you know that your foundation is strong, that you will know that you're a world overcomer. You know that you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. So when you know that about yourself, the enemy not just going to come at you any kind of way because he knows your foundation. And that's why the more mature folks and older folks that's in the room always encourage us when we were younger say, always work and build your faith now. And when I was younger, y'all aged sitting where y'all was sitting, I always wonder why they always say work on your faith now. And when I was doing this message and it made me think about it, say they always want us to do that now because they want to see us work our faith, building our foundation, what we have in our foundation that we need to take out of. And if we found cracks in our foundation or the edges are just a little rough, they can be there to support us and guide us through our faith. But also God is there for us to fill in those cracks with his love, with his joy and his peace. Um, let me slow down because <laughs> I'm looking at this time. Um, but also it says in Psalms 103, 12, it says God will remove our sins as far as east is from the west. He will sanctify us and cleanse us. So when we look at our foundation, it will be no cracks in there. People will look at our foundation and say, wow, I thought you were struggling through this. And say, God poured in his love, his joy, his grace over my life so it will be filled up. And God always support his people. He will support us when we put him first in our foundation. One thing y'all heard, I went to Central Piedmont my community college. So my first semester, junior year, I wrote a report about abortions. They said, choose any topic. So I was like, I'm gonna choose that one. I'm just gonna be debatable today. And I chose the topic, read it out, wrote it out. I'm not saying that word right. Read it out, wrote it out. You know what I mean. <laughs> I, write, I was writing it out and the professor just gave me a flat out F. She's like, I don't like your topic. That was not factual, this, this, and that. So that was the time for me to choose, say, do I want to stand on a foundation which I know is right and the principles of God, or do I want to back out and let that foundation be cracked and just deal with it? So I stood on my foundation and I was like, talking to my parents like, yo, this will happen. I don't know what to do. They came there and supported me, got an A in the whole class. So that just shows you when you stand on your foundation, God is good to his people. He is truly good to his people, and he will support you in every area in your life if you just support him. So that is all that I have for y'all. <laughs> but I just want to leave this with you. Check your foundation. Don't take everything that Mr. Haley, everybody in the department, Sunday night Bible class teacher, Miss Gould, Pastor Gould, for granted. Because it's more stuff that will come back to your remembrance. The Holy Spirit will remind you. I've taken tests. And I'm like, wow, like, I didn't know the answer to this question, but I was like, the Holy Spirit just brought it back to my remembrance, just remembering certain things. I remember all y'all did the Holy Spirit part. That was the part that I struggled with. And the scriptures, I was like, Lord, I don't know how that scripture came back to my remembrance, but I remembered it and I passed that test just because I relied on the foundation that I placed so I can live out the life that God has for me. So check your foundation, see what you're standing on, and see if you can live by it. So I love y'all. Y'all know y'all always be my little people, and congratulations.